keep hope close. Hey all. This is a this is from the eight way run okay. tournament match. Let's do this. Sorry, I didn't catch all that. Battle one. Fight. Hey all this is the eight way run August tournament losers first round match. This is me versus Hawk Falcon, his way player. This first round was kind of laggy. It didn't really affect the inputs or anything, but it was enough to make me nervous just because Maxi tends to drop his strings in lag. He'll just fall out of stance for no real reason. It messes up your flow. But like I said, it doesn't really matter. I tend to view the first round as kind of a feeling out stage. Just get a sense for what the person's doing or what they know. Because a lot of Maxi is figuring out what they know about Maxi and what you can get away with. Because Maxi gets kind of risky when people really know him. He's kind of like a safer Zwei in that respect. Because once Zwei gets going, if you don't know what he's doing, he's just going to drag you under with him. As you're seeing right now. Yeah, I wasn't really getting anybody's way... ...sway going. <laughs> um, knowing that 2A shut down a lot of his stuff, and knowing that he has a lot of highs, it doesn't always help. Not if you sit back and let him get going, because... ...then you're kind of left trying to figure out which gimmick he's using and trying to react to the gimmicks rather than to the rather than making it easy on yourself by countering by stop shutting him down before you can start in on that knock. Maxi's eight-way run moves tend to be d dirt slow, and Zwei can out-poke him out of most of those with his own eight-way run moves, so I tend not to use the eight-way run moves opening against Zwei if I can help it. My only real solution is way is just to keep the pressure on any way I can. I like using throws a lot just to give them a reason to duck to set up my mids. It also cuts kill step, which is very handy since Maxi's reliant on a lot of linear B moves otherwise. That's one of those times when you should actually do something and I didn't. While standing B plus K is so good. Double kicks just for people who are conditioned to take turns with attacks. That was in anticipation of a GI. Messing with me, it's just stupid. The key to that delayed Zwei thing is to just okay, hit him, apparently. Let's do this. So cool. 
sorry. I didn't catch all that. Battle one. Fight. <laughs> Didn't work. Going somewhere? Kale. Battle two. Fight. I really like trying to catch people who throws just on standing up because I try to condition them to fear the 6A plus B while they're rising. Gives them a to stand up in the duck. One of the things I figured out while in sessioning after playing Salty Fist was that the tech crouch moves tend to work well against the way from mid-range. With opening highs, tend to whiff that way and you can get big damage. Going somewhere? Going somewhere? <laughs> People don't like 66K just because it's negative frames on block. But it's pretty much the only advancing move Maxi has that catches step a little aside from 66A. 66A is a high, so it's kind of a limited use. You can tech this. Oh no, no, never mind. Going somewhere? Going somewhere? Back up! I got greedy with my four BBs there. Six A plus B saves me again. Okay, let's do this. Battle one. Fight. Switch to Yoshi for this one, which made me nervous just because the Magikarp Fist does such horrible things to Maxi's stance game. Yoshi also has really annoying wake up. throw set up, but if people are expecting the throw, it's a great setup for mid pain. Mary outsmarts Iron Nunchuck who's the hop over. Oh, there's that magic card fist. I really hate that move. plus B in this match.
really my only goal at this point was to inflict guard down guard break damage and try to wear him down from there. Got a good side throw, which leads to the brave edge. I don't think that would have worked if he hadn't wall squatted. Must have been anticipating the RCA. 